for doing the trunk light we had to use the panel popper to get the stock bulb out but once you pull the whole housing out you can pop this back open it swap out the stock light with the led close it and then slip it back in after you connect the harness yeah so once you get the harness connected it just pops back into place to pull it out you push it back and there's a little housing back here so you can push it back squeeze it together and it'll fall out doing the under door lights get your plastic panel popper dig it in pull the housing down and then i'm gonna pull the clip off just because the door's been open for a while so this light's super hot it's extremely hard to do with one hand you push this clip in and you can slide it out so once you get it pulled out it'll be pretty easy let it cool down so you don't burn yourself pull the light out and then the led light will literally just pop into place exactly how the stock bulb is so when you're putting the leds in it's just going to slide in right like that then you'll reconnect the harness pop it back into place and you're good to go now that the harness is plugged in just kind of get the back of the light started pop it in and the lower door lights all set doing the mirror pop it in here can't really do it one-handed but once you dig it in you can pop it out flies off like that if it's hot use the end and she just pops right out so then for the led since it's fuse style literally just pop it in pop the cover over it oh it's upside down and she pops into place Lastly, for this light, you just pop that cover off, pull the light out, open up your little pack. Once you get the LED out. Hi, John. What are you doing, you idiot? <laughs> I'm doing idiot stuff. Ryson. Ah, God damn it, John. <laughs> Stop. And then pop the cover you? on. Boom. <laughs> so for doing the reverse lights, it's a little difficult because they're brand new plastic clips you get the panel popper in there break that loose and then break that loose and finally you got third one right here break it loose grab here pull comes out and then you have access to the bulbs Little twist boom and it pulls right out so once you get lined up the focuses you just push it in clicks in and then get this little guy lined up twist she's locked grab this try not to break your clips so to get the button off of the e-brake just use a pair of pliers keep twisting it to the left it'll break it loose I didn't really care about trying to save it because it's getting replaced. And then to take the e-brake handle off, 
it's much easier if you use a heat gun because of the adhesive and it's on there pretty snug but you just rock it back and forth and pull up and there you go so one thing that makes it way easier to install is just get these little set screws put in place and push her on after you get it down to where it needs to go you just grab the allen key and tighten down all three of the set screws what takes maybe two seconds it alex takes, yeah just about two seconds to get the e-brake foreskin over the new carbon fiber e-brake yep and did you know if you don't put the spring in it you have a drift button oh yeah and then to make it work you pop her out and yeehaw we're cooking with gas yeet kind of helps if you hold the button yeah just a uh, bit. don't forget that on a hill <laughs> jesus christ it's just yeah. <laughs> it's just a brand new car. We're we're already already totally not a brand new car. It's fine. Weight reduction. The last thing we did today, there's bubbles in it. I'm gonna hit it with a heat gun, try to level it out. But used a little bit of tint to cover that gap right there in the tail lights and make it match. Then same thing up here. Tint overlay for the ambers. Makes the car look so much better. All right, let's look at how different these lights are at night. There's the LED. And that's the amber totally different you can even see the LED over the amber light then when we come over here the mirror light and then the mirror light lights up the steering wheel and then that is the reverse lights totally different